Hey everybody, it's Keegan here. I'm back with another video for you guys. And today's video I'm bringing you guys is another edition of Questions and Answers. And today, this is going to be Questions and Answers video number 40 for May 2023. And uh, right off the bat, as you can tell, we're actually recording this video outside. We're in the backyard today. Because why not? Because it's a beautiful day today. Now, before we get started with today's episode, I have a little bit of an announcement I like to make. Now, I did make this announcement on my community post a couple days ago, so a lot of you probably know what it is, but I'll say it again anyways in this video for those who aren't aware of this announcement. So uh, today's questions and answers video is actually going to be the last episode I'll be doing for a while as I'm going to be taking a hiatus for the next little while. Now, uh, right off the bat, it's not that I don't enjoy uh, doing Q&A videos anymore, it's just I'd like to, to take a break from doing Q&A videos. You see, I've been doing these videos monthly for the last three years. So I've been doing one new Q&A video almost every month, except for April of 2021 for the last three years. And I'd like to take a little bit of a break from making Q&A videos. So uh, once again, after this video, there won't be any more Q&A videos for the next little while. However, I will be back on making Q&A videos sometime in August. So uh, yeah, I just hope you guys all understand that this that I will be taking the reasons why I'll be taking a break for doing from doing Q&A videos. But now that we got that out of the way, let's get on with today's questions that I have to answer. And as always, I'll answer be I'll be answering each question in alphabetical order by username. And um, there are 27 questions this time, so uh, let's not waste any more time and uh, let's uh, let's take a look at today's question. So the first four questions all come from Alan Parker. And these uh, four questions are listed under one comment. And the questions are the following. Number one, what's your opinion on Mission Impossible? Number two, what's your opinion on Terminator 2, Judgment Day? Number three, what's your opinion on The Whale? And number four, what's your favorite Martin Scorsese movies? Number one, I've only seen the third Mission Impossible movie a long time ago, and I thought it was pretty good. I haven't seen the other ones, though. Number two, I've only seen bits and pieces of Terminator 2 Judgment Day, but I haven't watched it all in its entirety, but I do plan to watch it sometime soon along with the other films in the series. Number three, The Whale I did go see in theaters, and I thought it was a fantastic film. It was a very depressing film, but it was a really, really well done film. And number four, my favorite Scorsese movie is a, a three-way tie between Taxi Driver, Casino, and The Departed, which The Departed is my favorite Scorsese movie. I don't know why that's my shitty Boston accent. I just said it like that. But yeah, those are the questions from Alan Parker. And uh, thanks for the questions, Alan Parker. And uh, let's uh, let's move on. The next four questions are all into separate comments. And they all come from Andy Kishore, a regular to the channel. And his first of four questions is, do you have a fire extinguisher inside of your house? Yes, I do. Every house should have a fire extinguisher. Um, just gonna make sure I'm not missing any. All right. The next one is, do you play or own any physical PC games at all? I know PC games getting a physical release is mostly dead market nowadays, but I don't think I've seen a physical PC games on any of your YouTube accounts, old or new. Um, I did have a few PC games on physical, but I don't know where they all went. They were mostly RC airplane simulator games that my dad used to play on the PC. I did have the B-Movie game on the PC, but I think that came with my DVD copy of B-Movie that I used to have, but I lost it ages ago. Um, I do play PC games, but it's all on digital. I only own my PC games on my PC that I use to record, that I use to read out the comments. I mean, the questions for each Q&A video that I do since uh, last year. Which, yes, I do have a Steam account. And, uh, yeah. The next one is, are you aware of the movie Dune Part 2 that's scheduled to come out on November 3rd, 2023? I know you've reviewed the first movie a while back. Yeah, I'm aware of it, and I do look forward to it. I reviewed the first uh, film back in 2021 and I do plan on seeing part two when it comes out it's gonna be great I know it and the last one from Andy Keyshore is are you aware that Brendan O'Brien passed away on March 23rd 2023 at the age of 60 
He was known for being the original voice actor of the character Crash Bandicoot in the video game series of the same name. Yeah, I'm aware of that. that rest in peace. And uh, those are the questions from Andy Keyshore. And uh, thanks for the questions, Andy Keyshore. Next singular question comes from Chase Shepard. And his question is, what are your thoughts on the, on the show called Total Drama? I've heard of the, t the Total Drama series. There was Total Drama Island, Total Drama Action, and so on. Um, I couldn't really get into those shows. I don't know. I just I didn't really watch them as a kid. Um, I don't know. I just I didn't just didn't really watch them. But I'm well aware of it. They air on Cartoon Network, but they originally came out on Teletoon, which is dead now. So, uh, but yeah, I didn't really watch that show as a kid. I don't know. It just wasn't really for me. I guess. And uh, that's the question from Chase Shepard, and uh, thanks for the question, Chase Shepard, and uh, let's, uh, let's move on. The next seven questions are all divided into seven comments, and they all come from Donkey Man. And the first of the seven questions is, what do you think of uh, Idris Elba? Idris Elba is a good actor, for, from what I've seen, the films and shows that he was in. He was in The Wire as Stringer, I believe was the name of his character. And uh, yeah, I think he's a pretty good actor. The next one is, have you heard of an actress named Lily James? Yeah, I've heard of her. She was in Baby Driver and so on. Next one is, what is your opinion on Amelie? Uh, I've never seen that movie, but I've always wanted to, to check it out. That is one movie I do plan to cross off my watch list this year. One of many films I want to cross off my watch list this year. But again, I've never seen Amelie, but I do want to check it out. I hear great things about it. The next one is, what do you think of Christopher Walken? Christopher Walken, great actor. He's great in films like The Dead Zone, The Deer Hunter, and so on. Uh, the next one is, what is your opinion on Yes Man? Never seen it, but I've heard of it. That was a movie with uh, Jim Carrey. And, uh, hold on a sec. Sorry about that, I had to get one of the dogs. I'm outside with three of my dogs right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the next one is, uh, from Donkey Man is, what are your thoughts on The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power? I know I've said this one before, but I'll say it again. I have zero interest in ever checking out Rings of Power. Now, I like The Lord of the Rings movies and books, but I have zero interest in ever watching Rings of Power. I don't give a shit what anyone says, but I'm never gonna watch Rings of... Well, probably if I ever feel like it, but... I have no desire on ever watching Rings of Power anytime soon. Alright. Just gonna make sure. Oh yeah, I got one more from Donkey Man. The last question from Donkey Man is, what's your favorite Alfred Hitchcock movie? I've only seen Psycho and The Birds. Both of those are great movies, but those are the only two movies from Alfred Hitchcock that I've seen so far. And uh, yeah, those are the questions from... Uh, from uh, Donkey Man, and uh, thanks for the question, Donkey Man. I mean, questions, Donkey Man, and uh, let's move on. All right, so uh, these next five questions all come from Urban's Movie Corner, and each five question is listed under one comment. So the questions are the following. Number one, what's your opinion on everything, everywhere, all at once? Number two, what's your opinion on the Banshees of an Irishman? Number three, what's your opinion on Shakespeare in Love with Gwyneth Paltrow. What, number four, what is your opinion on American History X with Edward Norton and Edward Furlong? And number five, what's your opinion on Uncut Gems with Adam Sandler? Number one, I already answered in the last Q&A video. So if you want to hear my answer on that question, check that video out. Number two, The Banshees of an Irishman is a great movie and is probably my favorite film of last year. Number three, I have not seen uh, Shakespeare in Love, but I hear mixed things about it. I know some people regard it as one of the worst Oscar winning films of all time which a lot of people say Saving Private Ryan should have took home the best picture award from that year but it didn't number four American History X is one of my favorite films of all time aside from the serious subject matter on racism and hate and all that stuff in that film it is a fantastic film it's uh, one of my favorites aside from the serious subject matter and violence and number five, uh, Uncut Gems is a great movie. Great, Adam, Sand Adam Sandler was great in that film. But I think uh, Punch Drunk Love is probably still my favorite 
Adam Sandler performance, in my opinion. And uh, those are the questions from Irwin's Movie Corner, and uh, thanks for the questions, Irwin's Movie Corner, and uh, let's move on. So I'm just going to take off my sunglasses for the rest of the video. So there are only six questions left in this video, and, they're all, and they all come from that bully nerd 44 so uh, the first question from that Blue Nerd 44 is, have you seen the 2022 film Triangle of Sadness? Yeah, I've seen it, and I thought it was pretty great. And I did a review of that movie on my channel back in October after I saw it. So if you want to check out that review, it's on my channel if you want to check it out for yourself. Uh, the next one is, what do you think of my judge and his works? His shows such as Beavis and Butthead and King of the Hill and movies such as Office Space. Uh, I've only seen a little bit of uh, King of the Hill and a little bit of Beavis and Butthead, and uh, that's it. I do think he's pretty good. I think he also created the show Silicon Valley on HBO, I believe. I could be wrong, though. I think he did, though. Yeah, there's a little bird over there. <laughs> uh, the next one is... Have you heard of the Finnish World War II action film Sisu? I saw the trailer for it when I watched John Wick Chapter 4 in theaters. I saw the trailer for that movie when I saw John Wick Chapter 4 as well. Uh, I haven't seen it, but I've heard of it. Um, maybe I'll check it out. Uh, maybe. The next one is... Um... Have you seen the motion capture action adventure film, The Adventures of Tintin, The Secret of the Unicorn? It is directed by Steven Spielberg, produced by Peter Jackson, and it's based on the comic book series of the same name. Yeah, I've seen it. I actually remember seeing it in theaters back in 2012, and it was a really great movie. I really enjoyed that one. Um, I don't think I've seen it since then. I don't remember. It was, it's was it been a while since I last watched it, but uh, I have seen it. It is a great movie. And, uh, the next one is, what are your thoughts on secondhand stores raising their prices on, on items like DVDs? Uh, it's probably inflation, I guess, but, mm, it doesn't really bother me, to be honest. And the last question from that Blue Nerd 44, and also the last question for this video is, have you seen, have you heard of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis? The point-and-click adventure game that is released on the Amiga, DOS, and Macintosh in 1992. Do you think it would have made a better fourth Indiana Jones film than Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? I never heard of it till I saw that comment, and um, I don't know. Maybe it might have been better, but yeah, I never heard of that game till uh, I saw that comment. And uh, those are all the questions from that Blue Nerd 44, and that's gonna be all the, and that's gonna be it for this video. And uh, I want to give a special thanks to everybody for submitting their questions for the for this video. Now, before I end the video, I just want to remind you guys that there won't be any more Q and A videos until August, because I'm gonna be taking a hiatus from making Q and A videos. So uh, yeah, just just so you guys know. But uh, yeah, guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, as always, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment below, subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, share the video with your friends, family, whoever, follow me on my other social medias, yabba dabba dabba doo, you get the rest. And if you have any questions you'd like me to answer in the next Q&A video, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I will answer them in the next one coming out in August. So um, yeah, guys, so uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Peace out.